everybody, it's Cody Dixon RC here. So, locally, we are trying to do some on road racing. Um, so, it's kind of a little bit different for me. I've never really built on, I've, I've built one on road car, uh, but I've never built a non belt drive on road car. Um, so, now that I have gathered a couple of more brands with the big distributor that I have, Charisma is one of them. Um, so they have this car, this is the M40S 10th scale touring car kit. Uh, it comes with the body, comes with the motor. You have to supply your own servo, ESC, battery, radio, paint. Uh, so this is a nice deal, it's four wheel drive, fits most popular touring car chassis. I think it fits 185 millimeter, 190 millimeter wide bodies. Um, has oil field suspension. You can adjust the toe, you can adjust the camber. You can also, uh, I think it's got, it's got individual diffs, so you can adjust that as well. It comes with ball bearings instead of friction bearings, which is it's always a plus. I sell this kit, it's in the store. You can buy one, it's $105. They have a Mercedes and they also have an Audi. Um, and this is a full out like DTM car, which in the old school days, I don't know if they race D DTM anymore or not. I think they do. It's got crazy wild, uh, wild wings and canards, the whole deal. So it's really cool. It's really neat. Um, so I'm going to build it. I'm going to paint. I'm going to try and do everything today um, just so I don't have to do a couple of days in video that deal like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come around. You're going to be up, up top. I'm going to unbox it real quick just to show you the different stuff. Then I'm going to build it real fast, time lapse the build. Then when I'm done with it, I'll come back around and we'll talk about it uh, as I'm done with it. So the idea behind this is locally, we're gonna do this car. We're gonna do a Hobby Wing 1060 ESC. And that's gonna be a requirement for this particular class of car. Um, Max 2S battery. Uh, you get to choose your own servo, choose your own radio, and of course paint body and stuff like that. Tires are gonna be spec to this kind of tire. We're going to, if we run into problems of getting this tire, like if I cannot get this tire anymore, we will find an equivalent that's readily available and not cost don't cost a lot of money. Uh, same goes for um, the motor. If we run into problems with motors, we'll probably bump up to a nice, and Teggy's got a, a, a lathe motor with adjustable timing. We'll probably set it and it has to be set at like zero timing or something like that. It's a relatively inexpensive motor. I think it's less than $30. So it makes it, we're just trying to make sure we keep it relatively cheap for a newcomer. Less than $200 is kind of the idea here and it, just gets there depending on all the other stuff you buy as well of course you can go bonkers with servos and get really stupid fast ones that cost a hundred dollars but it's kind of not the idea here what we're trying to do so um i'll see you in just a little bit and uh appreciate you watching thank you all right so let's get this thing unboxed as you see this mercedes coupe dtm 2014 range ish i don't really know that i think that's about right uh you see it's got canards it's got a big old wing on the back of it uh everything like that this thing is pretty cool i can't wait to to race it to be honest with you so i've already opened i kind of opened it i opened it to see kind of what was going on before i did it uh let's get this thing out of here it comes in a box in a box i think what they do is this box is the original box and they just slap the sticker of what kind of truck what kind of car it is on it because the inside box has the same thing but it actually says what kind of car it is so we'll do that we will there we go let's do that do it that way so you can see that's the front and rear that's the front uh, body post battery cover or battery strap that's usually the front bumper type deal there uh, you get a metal, this does have a metal drive shaft. Now, I think the only downside to this thing is going to be, I think it has, I think it has Phillips screws in it, which is kind of a bummer. But, so, it's a lot of uh, coarse thread screws, which is usually kind of how that goes, like diff housings, spur gear, metal shafts, parts tree. So, this has real full deal light buckets for the front and the rear for the body so you can have legit lights and such uh, it has a big grill it has a big wing all the all the cool things you want for a car like this there's the chassis bag a with the diffuser looks like it's got suspension arms in it 
All right, so then you get a chassis brace and then the 19 turn motor. It is a racing motor. Uh, that's what Charisma says it is. Looks like there's the knuckles and C-hubs and such, bearings, and they are legit bearings. Um, and yes, they are. Everything is a Phillips screw, which is kind of a bummer, but you know, whatever, we'll make it work. Uh, you get some nice rubber tires, slicks with foams, and a, and a wheel that look, it's very DTM style, the dished style wheel. So that's nice. I wonder if it's, of course I can't see, but I wonder if it's, I don't think they're, they're not, they're not a 12 millimeter hex. Looks like you got to have these little adapters. So that makes it kind of not that much fun, but maybe it'll work out. It'll be all right. So shock bag, which is G, it's got little shocks in it. Uh, D bag, ha, ah, it's the steering bell crank and such. And you get C, you get some stickers. They give you stickers in case you want to um, not cover, or if you don't want to do the light buckets, so to speak. So you can do that as well. We'll put those behind us there. <clears throat> Let's put that down there. So you get your assembly manual, which I don't think it's going to be the greatest manual ever. Eh, it's not too bad. So lots of stickers. There's some more stickers. They are pre-cut as well, which is nice. Hats off to them for doing that. Lots of people don't do that anymore. Uh, you get a bunch of Charisma stickers, and then you get your, so that it does have headlight and taillight cutouts for your body. And then the body, which is just a normal normal Lexan body. It is a, D, it is a Mercedes coupe looking body. Uh, got the Mercedes front, the whole deal. It's very small. It's not super, it's not really thin. It's not super thin. That's good. That's good. My last touring caught it, uh, body I built was really, really, really thin, uh, which it was a lightweight body, so it's supposed to be. But it gives you instructions on how to put the body together, which because you know, it's got multiple add ons to it as well. So that's it. So uh, I'm not going to bore you with uh, this part of it or trying to build it. So I will. Uh, going to switch to time lapse and I'll see you back in just a little while.
All right. Hey, everybody. Back. Finished the car. Um, did, I did not do it in one day. I know I said I was going to do it in one day. Did not happen. Uh, got done painting the body, of course, same day. Built most of the chassis the same day. Uh, doing the rest of the body was uh, not, it's not simple, so to speak. Uh, there's lots of, uh, I got the headlights in here. There's lots of little plastic doodads you've got to cut holes for. Uh, of course, the, there's no body mounts on the outside. It's all done through like the wing mount and the grill actually does that as well. Um, all in all, decent build, nothing crazy, not hard to do really and truly. The body was probably the hardest part of it. And that's not even that hard, really. Um, the only downside to this chassis and the way you build it is the Phillips head hardware. Uh, there is a couple of hex hardware in here, but not much. Probably a good idea if you have a bunch of hardware laying around to change it over to hex. Uh, because that's pretty much the, the roughest part of it. Trying to make sure you got the correct kind of driver to do that. Um, you do get full adjustment in camber and tow. Uh, the only other odd thing I can tell is uh, if you tighten down the the wheel nuts, it makes it where the wheels don't roll smooth. Um, so you got to look in. You got to make sure you pay attention to that as well. We wound up going with a 1060 ESC. Of course, my FlySky receiver because that's what remote I use. XT60 plug. It comes with a motor. Uh, I wound up using just a simple JX. 21 kilogram start one of the servos I keep here, the little $25 servos. Uh, went with a metal horn, one of my horns, uh, only because the servo saver system is really funky in this thing. And I don't think I really need it. I would prefer to have a decent servo with a good horn so you get actual, you know, good movement and stuff like that. So I was going to hopefully have some running video of this thing in this video here but uh it's probably not gonna work weather's not really that great plus they don't really want us out and about i hope everybody's doing good on that as well um so i really kind of was going to go to the y and do some running around there but i really don't want to be out and get into any kind of trouble which i don't think it'll i think it'll be okay but you never know you never know how they're going to act you never know how they're going to going to do with all that stuff so i tend to try and just stick you know not try not be in in the way but all in all, good build, fun. It's going to be a cool chassis, or it's going to be a cool class to run in. I've already sold a couple of them. I think I got two Audis left. Um, it's going to be neat. It's going to be fun to to run. You know, we'll have about six or seven of these things running around. It's going to be cool. It's going to be fun. I can't wait. This thing's a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be on 2S as well. Um, so, if you want one, get. The, I got two Audis left. That's it once they're gone they're gone they are they had discontinued these kits there is still rtrs they've got this rtr and they've got two audis and a lotus exige as well um those rtrs are 220 bucks for apparently that's everything of course you have to add your batteries but that's pretty much everything there we are going to count the the rtrs will count in the in this particular class we're going to run with these as well so um, hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I know this is different than the norm, but I'm starting to do a little bit of this racing here. This is what I've, I, lo I love doing this kind of racing more than I'd like doing anything else with the one to ones because I've got a one to one that I've done this kind of racing with. So this is pretty much what I like doing more than anything else. This and the drag racing is my two favorite things to do. So you're going to see some drag racing stuff coming up as well. I know you can't see it, but I got, I got plans for the big boy and the car as well. So um hope you guys enjoy it hope that's some more content here in the next couple days and thanks for watching like subscribe thanks guys